I'm Stuart Shepard. This is Stoplight. Who knew that your phone was a government ninja spying on you? Well, apparently everybody in the government knew, and essentially nobody out here in the real world knew. Then the president tried to reassure us there's nothing to see here in the invisible pocket-sized spy caper. What the intelligence community is doing is looking at phone numbers and durations of calls. They are not looking at people's names and they're not looking at content. So they're not collecting your name. Well, I've got a phone number without a name. 202-456-1111. Let's see how long it takes to look that up here. Huh, it's the White House comment line. Apparently, the no-name part is to keep what's in the order just inside what's legal. But even a third grader can get around it in about three seconds. Did you ever think about the ways that your phone can rat you out? Think about how it has to work. In order for calls to find you wherever you are, your phone has to check in to report where it is. And that means there's a record of the cell tower you connected with. And that means the government database of every single American's phone has an ongoing record of how often you actually show up at church, how often you hang out at a bar. Hey look, he's been going to the gym more often. Dude, how many times a week can you eat barbecue? Uh-oh, he keeps going back to that conservative nonprofit. We'll have the IRS look into that one. When you're on a plane and the wheels touch down, what's the first thing people do? They turn on their cell phones. Hey look, he's in DC. Now I've had friends say, well, they can look at all my records. If you're not doing anything wrong, you don't have anything to hide. Uh, well, I, I see what they're getting at, but I think they're asking the wrong question. The question is not, do I have anything to hide? The real question is this, is it the proper role of government to keep an ongoing record of when you leave your house, where you go, how long you stay there, and when you get home for every day of every single American's life? I won't answer that question for you, but we all have to decide.